and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to talk about a bike that's not electric it's a traditional regular bike this is the trek domani let me show you the name here they pronounce it domani five and the five is right there and this is gen three I don't know how many gens there are. I think there's at least four. And this bike sells for $20.99. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out at Trek. And the reason why I'm doing a video on this bike is because I had the opportunity to do it. And this bike is really cool looking. And I'm going to talk a little about, a bit about it. And then we'll go for a little test ride, a quick uh, review on it. I've not ridden the bike yet and uh, so this will be my first time on it and um, of course I'm used to talking electric bikes so this is a little bit different but this is a Shimano and it's a 105 105 is here on the pedal group set so um, you can go and check on the site exactly what that is but uh, basically it's Shimano everything it's a 22 speed it's got the uh, you can see the sprockets here at the back it's got the it's got 11 sprockets right there and you got your two up here you got your larger chain ring and the smaller and I believe the larger one is 42 teeth but I'm not positive um, I really love the look of this bike it's a sharp looking color the the gray and the red bills are a good combination the handlebars are the old uh, handlebars that I would have on my 10 speed back in well in the uh, late 70s and, or so and uh, or mid 70s and um, it's got the uh, hand rests right here which is pretty cool the shifting is a little bit different I'm gonna have to check when I go for the ride on this so you shift the one sprocket I believe it's the small one here is for the one the two uh, sprocket and then for the back sprocket change you have this here and you push in on either one so and then your brake is regular so that'll be a little different I have never ridden a bike like that before so uh, it says it has hydraulic disc brakes so uh, there's no kickstand on this bike, so I'm just setting it here against the fence. So I'm going to uh, hop on it and go for a quick ride. I believe the wheels are 26, and I do not know the width. They look like they're probably, they look less than 2 inches to me. So probably 1, 3 quarters maybe. But that's strictly a guess. So let me get the camera on here. And go for a quick ride and then I'll come back and give my thoughts on what I thought of it. Again, this is priced at $20.99 at Trek and it's the Gen 3. They do have a Gen 4 that's, I think it's 12 speed. So, it's I can tell you one thing, I don't know the weight of this bike, but it's featherweight compared to what I'm used to riding with electric bikes. So, let's get on it. Go for a ride here. Uh, seat is up higher than I would put it because I'm not as tall. But uh, let's get it up here. Okay, so I'm going to lean down, shift gears here. There we go. Um, oh there we go got to find a gear that's comfortable then I would lean I'd be more apt to put my hands up here I got to change the uh, camera here I think it's going a bit low let me put that up a bit here do a little turn here hopefully that 
camera is good now I changed the angle of it once you find a good gear it's it's a nice smooth bike this is a more of a road bike. I think road slash enduro. Definitely a pavement bike. It's not for off-roading at all. And I'm not going to go all up that hill. But I'm going to go down here a little bit. Boy, it's been a long time since I rode a bike that's anything like this. I'm not used to leaning like that, so uh, the camera is going to be on a whack. Let's take the turn and feel the turn here on this. Oh yeah, it turns really nice. Very lightweight. It feels like it's got you could probably get going at a pretty good speed i don't know what we're going right now i don't have anything set up for that and you can hear it's got the sound just like the old 10 speed this is the first time i've ever ridden a trek and uh first time i rode a racer like this in a while boy it really nice taking a turn there one thing about riding a traditional bike as opposed to electric I'd be shifting a lot if I were uh, riding this all the time I'd be uh, as opposed to uh, the electric bike which I don't shift near as much this bike I would be shifting all the time The biggest thing for me for this bike to get used to would be the handlebars. I don't like being, personally, being hunched over that much. I like more straight up, but if you're racing, you want to crunch down to cut down on the wind. This is the first bike that I've ridden that is not electric that's uh, $2,000. Uh, most bikes I had as a uh, youngster or teenager were not no $2,000 bikes. They were more the uh, Canadian Tire, maybe at the time $100 or 150 bikes. If people are familiar with uh, Canadian Tire, CCM bikes, that kind of deal. All right, so let me uh, hop off the bike and uh, I just want to test these brakes. Oh yeah, this is really good brakes. These have good brakes. All right. Let me uh, hop off the bike. If you're familiar with riding 10 speeds, for that you know how the old get your foot on the pedal and give it a couple of uh, couple of uh, pushes with your other foot and then hop on. All right, so that's the Domani, the Trek Domani 5 Gen 3. Let me take off here. Here we go. So the seat, I didn't mention the seat. That's a very thin seat, but you know, I didn't find it a problem in a little bit I rode, but I didn't ride far. So I don't know what that would be like riding distance. Uh, so uh, I don't know about that. But it sure does look sharp. The uh, black 
or gray and uh, red. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.